Yeah, Don, you're absolutely right. Uh, the crews have left for the evening. A lot of paperwork and reports still need to be uh, completed to determine exactly what happened behind me, what is left of the scene. want to show you again yesterday's video, the reported video that we got in here at News 8. Just really a spectacular, and I don't mean that in, in a good way, but just an aw, uh, awesome-looking fire. Witnesses say you could not see the house at 307 Howard Avenue. Once the flames started, that house quickly fell to the ground, crumbled to the ground amidst the, the heavy blaze. And now the insurance adjusters investigating, going through the rubble to determine the cause of the disaster. Three houses affected, about 20 people now looking for a new home. Even those were many people were affected who don't even live in these houses. They live a couple of houses away, and those houses didn't even sustain physical damage. It's been like a little down. Like even I feel like a little weird. Like I didn't kind of want to stay at my house last night because I didn't really know what was going on. But I felt safe that they had the um, they had like a little patrol here. They had somebody outside, and then it was like somebody I guess monitoring the gas. Now, tomorrow they will continue the cleanup. They're going to remove all the debris and fill in the hole that is now, or what was, 307 Howard Avenue. A source tells me that the state and local fire marshals and the insurance investigators all believe they'll come up with the same finding as to the cause of the explosion and the blaze. What that cause is yet, we still have to wait to find out. Reporting live in New Haven, I'm Mark Robbins, News 8.